We got a big one this month, boys. Please don't clip that and take that out of context. But yes, it is that time again for Loot Anime. Um, as I mentioned in my previous video, I forgot to renew the subscription, so I've got another three months of these to do. And man, today we have got a massive box. Look at the size of this. Way bigger than the last few we've had. I know the uh, other ones have been like wider and stuff, but this is kind of promising. Maybe, maybe this may contain something that isn't just a kind of really shitty washcloth from Evangelion. I like Evangelion, but man, what a disappointment. Anyway, let's stop bickering about... Uh, I'll stop bitching about something that was a couple of months ago. Uh, this box is slightly damaged uh, in the mail, but it did come from America, so it makes sense. Anyway, without further ado, let's flip the lid a little bit. Now, I have already previously cut this, because I filmed it first time, and then ended up flashing my address at the bottom. So, uh, ooh, yo, so... It's a bit of a a bit of a look into there, but as always, I like to keep the lid kind of closed a little bit because I like it to be a surprise for myself and for the viewers. Anyway, so I've grabbed a T-shirt. Ooh, it's got a sticker on. Loot Crate exclusive. Yay! I mean, this is loot anime, but still, uh, all is this all my? <gasps> Yo! Okay, right. Okay, I'm just gonna. I'll I'll be back. All right, I'm back. So, yeah, this is an All Might t-shirt. Oh, that's so fucking cool. Sorry, I probably yelled right into the camera's microphone for that one, so I'll try and dim the audio or something. And the nice thing is, see, the only loot crate thing is that little sticker, which is easily peel-offable. So, oh, man, this is super cool. So, um, I've almost caught up with Season 3 of My Hero Academia, uh, and I've booked tickets to go see Two Heroes, the, um, the film that's airing, uh, well, it's coming to cinemas, actually coming to the cinemas in UK. Phenomenal news. Um, that'll be in a few weeks' time. And this'll be nice, because I can wear this to see it. Um, you know, not that it's mandatory, but it's always nice to kind of, you know, wear something themed after the movie you're going to see, if it's a special occasion. Oh, this is so cool! And, um, yet again, it's kind of like... It doesn't have the name of the anime on it, which I quite like, because it's just, it's a reference to the series. That way, you know, if people also know the series past you, then they'll also recognise it, and other people just won't, and they'll be like, oh, okay, don't know who that is. So I'm grabbing the other t-shirt from off-camera. Uh, ooh, ooh, okay. That's cool. Oh, you, okay. Hang on, right, I'll unfold this and I'll be right back. So this is a Robotech t-shirt, um, I'll, I'll kind of, is it kind of goes down there and it's got the portraits of some characters. So I've actually watched, well, I've kind of watched Robotech, um, wait, yeah, no, I have watched Robotech, sorry. Um, so I've got the box set because in America it was called Robotech, but in Japan it was called Macross, and I think... It was edited together with another anime called Southern Cross or something. Um, so yeah, I've seen the first um, series of Robotech. Um, the one of them kind of being on the SDF one and flying off into space. It's really good, actually. I really enjoyed it. It was quite, it's quite mature in theme, but I don't know. I, I really liked it. And there's the uh, the Zentrati, I think, with the aliens there. The one over by Min Maid singing and stuff. It's a really good series. I need to watch the second and third series, actually. Um, and yeah, I know they're completely different to what Macross is in Japan. The like, storyline's completely different and stuff. That's really cool, though, because that's like... It's a bit retro, that T-shirt. It's quite nice. Right, so I'm going to delve into the box and grab... Ooh, something in plastic. <gasps> Yo! Oh, that's... Okay, I'll, I'll just open it. The capsule corp hat. Oh, that's so cool. So I was actually thinking um, a few weeks ago of ordering like a capsule corp t-shirt or something because I really love the logo. It's like if you don't know what it is, it just looks like a logo. But if you do know what it is, you know it's uh, kind of like the All Might t-shirt thing. Nice. And this is an official Dragon Ball Z thing. There's a uh, Goku in many of his Super Saiyan forms. Is that Super Saiyan 2 in the background? I think it is. I can never tell the difference between Super Saiyan 1 and 2 for, like, all of the characters. 3 is obvious, because uh, he's muscular as fuck. But yeah, wow, this is 
really good quality. It's like, yeah, really liking this actually. This is, um, so far, I've got to say, everything in this crate has been something I really like. My Hero Academia, really like Robo uh, Ro Robotech, uh, Robocross, I was going to call it. A uh, mixture of macro. Ooh, okay, and we have a really heavy thing loot anime. Who is that? Yume Pint Glass. Who is Yume? Yume Pint Glass. Yume Pint Glass. Uh, obviously, it's a pint glass with Yume on, and that's not her name. Okay, interesting. So, I assume it's. Is that like the loot anime mascot woman? I mean. She looks a little bit generic, but I don't know, she could actually be from an anime, I could be wrong. So, uh, ooh, nice. Yeah, this is some nice printing. It's a little bit weird that it's just kind of like her body and not uh, the, her torso and not the full body, but still. Uh, uh, her arm, oh wait, yeah, okay, no, that, her elbow's doing that. That's really cool, actually, that's a nice pint glass. Wow, so I don't know if this is like a special box or something, but this seems to be making up for some of the really lacklustre things, uh, the last two crates. That's super cool actually, that's very useful. Admittedly, I have noticed a pattern. In the last four months of anime, uh, loot anime that I've got, three of them have have like included cup kind of things, as the glass as the um, thermos, the One Punch Man thermos, and the My Hero Academia like water bottle, which I still use. Um, yeah, okay, so I don't think there's much more in this box, actually. Uh, no, I th so I think, ooh, wait, oh, and there's a pin, yay, they're back to pins. <gasps> Yo, I, okay, I just saw a brief flash of the poster. Let's have a look at the pin first, ooh. Uh, let's wait for this to focus. The Combat Baker and Mitomatch Waitress. Does that say Mito Match? Automaton Waitress! I don't know why I read that as Mito Match. Uh, hadn't really focused, or oh, well, not through this tiny screen finder. So yeah, this is clearly like um, Volume 1 of the Combat Beaker and Automaton Waitress. That's an interesting one. Never heard of this. Like, n not even kind of, you know, like, oh yeah, I think I've heard of something like that. That's an interesting one. That's Really cool title, and, man, it's all I need from this poster, like, the rest, oh, yo, okay, so, wait, what? Oh, oh, right, okay, I, I get it, right, okay, so, I, um, if you watch the other ones, or if you got it yourself, you'll remember there was that little card they put in for, like, the screening of these two things in cinema. So there was Bardock, uh, Father of Goku, which is kind of an OVA thing, and then there was Fusion Reborn, which is actually one of my favourite Dragon Ball movies, um, and has Gogeta in it, uh, along with Janemba, who I thought was a really cool villain, actually. Basically Majin Buu. Um, oh, that's really cool, actually, because that's kind of two posters in one. And honestly, yeah, I think I'd prefer that to a full poster if it was just, like, one of them or whatever. Ah, oh, that's really cool. So, right, I'm going to flip it over, and we shall... So, ah, transform. Now, I'm slightly confused, because I swear I got an email last week or something saying that the newest loot anime, like, transform, was being delayed. I mean, I know this is October's crate, I suppose, and we are getting it mid-November, but still, that's kind of cool. So, let's see. All my... Ah, yeah, all my... Because he transforms, doesn't he? Obviously, from one thing to the other. Let me just quickly read this. Ooh, show off your all-mightiness. I don't... All right. Oh, yeah, Capsule Corp, because obviously they come in those little capsules and then they turn into things, don't they? Yeah, that's really cool. Now, what is the mug? I'm going to have a quick read of this. Okay, yeah, so this is indeed um, Loot Anime's mascot character, Yume. She is very cute. Like... It, as I said, it's a little tiny bit generic, but it's not like a bad design or anything. So, of course, Macross, the um, mechs they pilot, kind of turn into air aircraft kind of things, and then back into mechs. All right, yeah, and it does actually mention Roy, Rick, Max, and Miria. So, I don't remember who Miria is, 
But I know Roy, um... Oh, Roy was like the blonde pirate, wasn't he? Uh, Rick, I can't remember. Max, I think Max was the blue-haired guy. Um, the, yeah, he was really cool. I think Max is my favourite character from Robotech. It's been a few years since I watched that, actually. And the final one is... Final one is the Combat Baker and Automaton Waitress. Okay, so apparently this manga is about, like... Someone going from a um, war hero to a baker. Interesting. Uh, ah, right, okay, so it's a light novel. That's cool, so it's not a manga, it's actually just a light novel, which is cool with me. And yeah, as always, um, if you subscribe on the website, you can, like, click um, on Redeem or whatever, and it'll give you, like, a light novel or a manga to download on an app. Can't remember the name of the app, but I've, I've not used it myself yet, but... It's obviously made for manga reading. And let's see. Inside, uh, ooh, is that Shenron? Wait, no. Uh, yes, it is Shenron. Okay, I'm going to go transform uh, this box and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So yeah, this is the uh, box. As you can see, there's lots of little things there. And as you turn it around, you see uh, the... Dragon of the Balds, I don't think that's his title. Uh, Shenron, obviously with all the seven Dragon Balls on it. It's a really nice design, actually. Like, yeah, I think I might actually keep this box, because most of them is like, eh, wow, that illustration is kind of nice, but these are fucking massive, so they take up a lot of room. But this, I don't know, this could be like a display piece, honestly, like, you know, that and have some like figures on top of it or something. It's a good idea, me. Keep going with that. So yeah, uh, overall, this has hands down been, I think, maybe the best one so far. Admittedly, they didn't provide a manga, which, I mean, I'm always kind of torn about because I love receiving a volume of a manga like I may not have bought myself but had interest in. But equally, you know, as I've said before, it is just volume one of a manga series and... No manga series lasts, like, two or three volumes. They're always, like, at least ten or something. So, I can kind of see why they didn't do that. The t-shirts have been awesome. The poster, honestly, like, usually I don't really regard the poster as a part of loot anime. This time I definitely do, though. This is really cool and uh, for sure will be going up on my wall. So, yeah. Pint glass, incredibly useful and incredibly kawaii. So, you know, I can uh, invite invite friends round, crack open a cold one of the lads, put this down on the table and watch them slowly all walk out one by one. Um, the hat, actually the hat is really cool because um, it's winter time now and hats are actually very useful. And this is like, it's thin enough that you can wear it without like boiling your head. Uh, Robotech t-shirt, Phenomenal. Honestly, like, any mecha stuff, like any mecha t-shirts, I'm always really happy with because they're not, it's not a very popular genre. And, yo, this. Man. Best t-shirt I've had from this box. The Aggretico one was really cool. This beats it hands down. And so, until next time, goodbye.